finding them annoying, irritating, obnoxious, don't worry, it'll get quiet really soon. All noise to disturb your thoughts will now disappear for all eternity until you can escape from this room. That's a relief. I'll be glad of the quiet. Here's some advice from a survivor of hell. Enjoy this noise while you can. Even the annoying insults you hear now will bring you fond memories to preserve your sanity while amidst the eternal silence. Did you just call yourself a survivor? Then... You also... You know... Every once in a while... That terror comes back to me. I wonder... Whether I really have escaped from that hell. What if... I actually lost my mind a long time ago... And I'm still in there. Just seeing the delusion of us all chatting happily like this. That nightmare still terrifies me. And so I need to constantly feel, truly feel that this isn't a dream. Hey, are you guys really real? You aren't just an insane delusion I'm having inside that hell. Right? Right? and get a hold of yourself. I'll think deeply upon it as well. I'll think of a trick to escape this room all with all I've got. I will come to save you. Beato. I'll definitely think of something. Just watch. Well, regretfully, it's time for us to leave. We mustn't get in the way of his job any longer. See you later. But the song. Or, like you'd say it, see you again. Right? Have a nice day. <laughs> certainly think of a trick. I'll think as well and I'll come to save you. Beato? that overpowering feeling of isolation, I finally began to realize how horrible a punishment this would be. D Damn those bastards. It can't be that hard to get out of a room like this. I mean, rooms are made so that people can come in and out of them, right? If they can't do that, you couldn't call it a room. Oh, 
Bathed a son! Bathed a son! Hang in there! Hang in there! Can't get out. Good. Okay, I'm heading off too. So long, you two. Th there's no way to need to say so long. We'll we'll think of a trick right away, and the game will resume. We won't take up your time. So stay here a little longer, please. We've heard those same words from many witches in the past, and I've heard of hardly any who've actually managed to resume their games. As far as I know, the only two are me and Burn. Why? Why would a person who knows about that hell throw another person into it? Just because you're bored? Is that all? Yeah, that's all. It's to escape from boredom. Because when we get bored, we remember. We remember that hell. And... You know, by throwing someone else down into that hell, we realize that, oh, we're the ones on the throwing side. And that means we aren't in that hell ourselves. If we don't keep doing that, then the fear of that hell will overwhelm us. If you two manage to get out of it, then he certainly will. I will save him. I can say it with certainty. With certainty? You swear with certainty before me, Lambda Delta, the Witch of Certainty? Yes, with certainty. Very well. I was the guardian for the former you anyways. Though the current you is, is different, I'll take care of you one last time. I'll give you a parting gift. And what... Is that hope? As long as you hold on to your certainty, your wishes will definitely come true. Are you listening? The old you was the endless witch Beatrice. You used to love detective novels that depicted impossible crimes, and you used those to make the claim that a witch existed to make many people believe in magic as one stage on your path to becoming a witch. Detective novels. Yep. The old you was an, was an avid reader. You loved detective novels, loved closed room murders, and were a super expert on impossible crimes. You searched for and found several closed room tricks. Found the single most basic element to all of the tricks and used that to form the core of your magical compendium. Didn't Bethita tell you? He said that the old you would definitely have thought of a way out of this predicament. I agree with that. I guarantee it by the name of the Witch of Certainty, Lambda Delta. The old you would definitely have cleared up this closed room trick. <laughs> That's my parting gift to you. Goodbye. You've sh sworn to the Witch of Certainty that you will act with certainty. So I won't say farewell. I'll see you again soon. Yes. We'll see you again. Soon.